Hello everyone, welcome to, uh, you and I play, we're doing the Binding of Isaac. I thought I'd record a daily run. I'm a bit ill, so my voice now goes considerably lower than it did a couple of days ago. Uh, but, uh, you know, I don't really have any content left now that the Hexen, um, series is finished. Which is a very enjoyable series to play, very nostalgic, as I no doubt go on about ad nauseam in said series, but go and check that out. If you're interested in some retro gaming shenanigans, I'm just playing this daily run, which is a Lilith run. Uh, it is a Sunday of some description right now. We should probably try and get this tin to drop. Ooh, that was a very ballsy dodge, but it totally worked out. Uh, now, Judas's tongue <coughs> is a... This is a, a trinket that I'm not entirely sure I understand. I believe one of the effects it has is to make sure that all deals with the devil only cost one red heart rather than some of them could cost two. I don't think it applies if the devil deal costs spirit hearts at all. Uh, but I think the side effect of it is that it can produce double trouble boss fights, which we've very rarely seen. Uh, I'm going to hold off on taking that just for the moment. Uh, we've very rarely seen such a thing on dailies, I believe, or in, even in the series. Uh, and don't I, I think I will come back to the series at some point. don't feel like I have completely abandoned the Isaac attempts at getting a thousand and one percent but for now I'm putting that on hold a little bit because I'm feeling like my Isaac mojo has dwindled somewhat uh, is finding it a little bit difficult to continue playing the game <laughs> basically I'm a little bit sick of trying to find this very final thing before we can start doing something interesting like maybe Eden streaks or something like that or just playing the game for the sake of playing the game Rather than having to temper our uh, runs trying to find that one elusive item which only really comes from angel rooms and therefore we have to try and either get very lucky chaos runs or even more lucky apparently angel runs. Anyway, let's talk about this run. We just picked up number one, which is a, a considerable range downgrade, range downgrade, but this being said, it is a massive DPS upgrade, and our range is currently not something that I'm actually majorly bothered by. We must have started off with a great range, just as a like, virtue of being lift. I don't know. Maybe Incubus uh, starts off with a good range. Uh, sort of per se. I, d I don't understand why we have such good range, because number one is usually don't take that. Your range is going to suck. And we did get a range upgrade from uh, Mom's underwear anyway. Jesus Christ. I <laughs> thought I'd just do this final room for the uh, exploration bonus, but that was not necessarily a good idea. This could be um, something that we got because we have Judas's tongue, by the way. Uh, it could be not. It could just be random bad luck. But I choose to believe it's because I have this trinket. And I'm hoping that maybe we don't get too many curses of the blind when we get deals with the devil. Because usually <laughs> it's pretty clear whether you should take something or not. Because if it's two hearts and you don't know what it is, you want to take it anyway. Because it's very rare that that will be a problem. And I am going to go into the curse room even though it will hurt. Uh, because it could have been very good. But it wasn't. We will see whether it was worthwhile if we can actually kill this spider. But our DPS is actually outstanding. That was actually... 100% not worth it, so don't do what I did. Even though, if you are watching this, hopefully you have already tried the daily and failed miserably so that I can gloat and be better than you. Ha ha ha. Okay, so we've got an eternal heart. We, I, the reason I spent that black heart is that black heart, red heart, it doesn't really matter at this stage. Um, the only thing the black heart is really doing for us is giving us protection for deals with the devil's chances on this floor, but honestly, it's the cellar. We are doing perfectly well on... Um, DPS uh, and HP indeed as well so as long as we don't take too many foolish hits still haven't managed to pick up the uh, requisite bomb to get some of these tinted rocks and we did do every single room on the last f floor so it's not like we missed out on that tinted rock there's literally no way of getting it as far as I understand um, so I'm not, I'm not too salty but probably it's it's hard not to be salty when the game gives you an opportunity, like dangles it in front of your face, tint to drop, tint to drop, and then, um, you know, refuses to actually let you have it. It's, it's very capitalist. There is a bomb here, so what I'm actually going to do, against my maybe better judgement, is uh, go and see if I can use this bomb somewhere sensible. It seems sensible to me. 
in order to guarantee ourselves, if possible, um, the deal with the devil. I don't want to take a hit on the boss fight, which could easily be something like Ragman, which could take us a long time and cause us, you know, untold anguish because we thought we were going to get a deal with the devil, and then Ragman turned out to be the most douchebag boss in the world. Or it could even be something as simple as pin, and we end up just taking a silly hit because we weren't paying proper attention to those spurious shots that pin likes to fire around the place. Well, balls. I mean, there's no tinted rock now. I was hoping that maybe the secret room would play out with something a little bit more than a battery charge. Uh, the battery charge is, by the way, not uh, value less. It's just not valuable. Fuck. I was just thinking, I'm going to use my spacebar item as soon as I'm not in this situation. And uh, lo and behold, I was stuck in that situation. We'll prop this. Uh... I'm actually going to pick up the battery charge and use it for my box of friends because I want to use it on the boss fight. Boss fight is a particular type of fight. So we've taken red heart damage. We have possibly compromised our deal with the devil. What do we do? We play anyway. I mean, we're not... All is not lost, you know? The die not cast is. It is only a widow, so we have nothing really to worry about all along. Although I nearly took damage by cornering myself in a corner, which is usually where cornering yourself gets done. Uh, the trick to the widow, one F Jeff taught me, is to get the widow to stamp on its own uh, minions that it creates. Honestly, no, 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 no. There is a curse room and some HP on the ground, so we do the curse room. My phone is buzzing upon me. Uh, nope, not that way. We take our chances on the curse room. We can at least get that HP there. We can also pick up this battery charge on the way, which could give us an advantage on said curse room. The curse room contains Guppy's paw, which would have been brilliant. I think we use it once. This basically goes a long way to guaranteeing ourselves to deal with the devil on the next floor, provided I don't completely screw it up like I have been. Uh, it also allows us to get into this room, which is useless. Okay, well, if we'd had that bomb still, which I don't, we could do that. We might as well do this final room. I, I seem to be part goat today. Um, it, just don't ask about the weekend, I guess. You don't want to know. Uh, good. We could get into the shop, maybe buy a bomb. That seems like a good idea since we got a key for free from that. There is no bomb in this shop. Which uh, upsets everybody, including me. I'm not going to buy a key to replace it because I used a key that we got for free. We can get into at least the item room on the next floor. We were very slow because I tried to min-max more than was worthwhile. And unfortunately, we're not going to get too much of an advantage from this floor. But I think our deal with the devil opportunity is much more guaranteed uh, on this floor. So maybe we save this curse room for the end. That was uh, not a good play for a daily. That was a fine play for a normal run, which is basically the mode I'm in. Um, kind of difficult to remember how to play dailies correctly. Uh, you don't want to cancel this room by accidentally getting a free deal with the devil from a red chest. Because then you don't get the points for, you know, playing the room. This is why we're here. Points. No, points do not mean prizes in this particular situation. Um, it would be nice if they did, but I suspect that Edmund's budget does not stretch that far. So we're going to try and preserve our spirit hearts for situations exactly like this, where the enemies are bullshit and should not have been added to the game. To ensure that we definitely do get a deal with the devil on this floor. I mean, because we didn't get a deal with the devil at all, we haven't accidentally lost ourselves precedent. But we are in a different situation from anybody, I believe, um, who did get a deal with the devil on this floor. Now, that's possibly something that we should science a little bit. Everyone's playing the same seed, of course. But the cash does not hurt. Can't pick that up, but maybe there's a secret room there, which could be very good for us. Um, what I want to science in this situation is whether... If you get a deal with the devil on the first, the second floor. Let's say you got a deal with the devil on the second floor on a particular seed. If you play the seed through again, take damage on the second floor so that you don't get that deal with the devil, but you guarantee it on the third floor, is it the same deal with the devil? Do you get the same stuff? That's what I want to know. Uh, I don't know whether you do. But it's, it'll be interesting to find out because it really does make a big difference. Especially on a daily run. Because everybody's playing the same seed, Dave. You see... Ooh, careful there. This is almost certainly the secret room, but still no bombs. Uh, if 
I'm going to get the same deal with the devil as everybody else did on the previous floor, except one floor late, though we don't feel as badly about it as we would have done. I actually don't want this item because I hate it. Uh, if it turns out to suck, right? But if it turns out to be great... Curse of the maze. Yes. Um, if it turns out to be great... Where's my bomb? It came... <laughs> Give me! If it turns out to be a really good deal with the devil, then I'm going to hope that I'm wrong in my original hypothesis. Uh, we go into the curse room, absolutely. Devil. Ooh. I think this is probably worth spending my only spirit heart on. Uh, red heart on. We have plenty of spirit hearts left. We got into the devil room for free anyway, so we don't actually need to worry too much about... Um... You know, so, well, we can't take red heart damage now, so we're guaranteed to get that deal with the devil again. Which is odd. It's a, a bit of a strange situation to be in, but I don't mind getting it early, because now we have basically got double damage. It's like we've got a box of friends charge permanently activated, which is really, really good. Uh, it also means if we get a press on, we can really make good use of it on the boss rush, which we can't afford to not do, but we've been so slow. Um, I, I think this is an advantage of a sufficient magnitude that we can hair it through the next few floors and try and get back on track for boss rush without worrying about it too much. So I'm not going to go back and get the things that we missed because we didn't have a bomb, etc. Don't care. That was bad damage. I always get confused by these particular types of enemy. Like, I think that I'm deflecting them away from me, but it turns out I'm pushing them into myself and it, it's bad for everybody involved. Wouldn't mind a damage upgrade. Uh, hopefully we can fight maybe the Fallen, because we know what's in our... Oh, hello. I can see you there. We know what's in our deal with the Devil. Also, this room has been particularly onerous for us. Um, so it's not going to be forthcoming on this pardon me, floor, but... Hopefully, there is an opportunity in our future to get something really awesome like the Mark or the Pact or such a damage upgrade. Maybe even... Uh, maybe even Synth Oil. So uh, I'm looking for a, a Syringe type payout here. It's not a syringe type payout. We did get our deal with the devil, but we've already got... Hematemesis. We've already got our... Um... I want to go into the shop, by the way. We've already got our deal with the devil there. We've already got precedent for the deal with the devil, so if we're going to get deals with the devil in the future... So that's going to come from... Oh, we'd very much like to buy that. But I'm actually just going to buy this and guarantee ourselves at least a little sniff of victory, which is a I'm not sure if that's an awesome or terrible band name. Question mark. So we already have Curse of the Maze, and we now know at least one pill that I'm never going to remember the colours of is quick, 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 question marks. What is this? Two of spades. Fool. So we take two of spades and use it, and then we take the fool with us so that we can get out of E.G. our curse room if we can't get into it through um, normal means. By which I mean we can't get into it. Through a, uh, a secret room. Provided there is one. I think it's just, uh, there's some advantage to being able to teleport back to the start of a map, especially if you end up in a dead end that's miles away. We, it simply could expedite our floor and this guarantee us boss rush. That was a very difficult set of little haunts to shoot. They seem to be very reluctant to be hit. Please. Our damage has not been sufficiently augmented for me to feel good about this particular floor. Because we're already on, you know, it's Blooded Caves too. Blooded Caves has a lot of high, oh fuck, HP enemies in it. I believe, at least NL said, that these pieces of baddie here do one full heart of damage when they hit you, the floating bits. This does not fill me with confidence. But at least we're doing enough damage to get rid of those things quickly. That's, those things are basically the bane of this floor. So if you can deal with them... Oh, oh, completely blank the fact that that was going to do that. Bad damage, we'll just set it and move on. Set it and move on. What is this? Spider Babby. Uh, it's a piece of shit. Okay. Kind of wish I'd re-rolled it, but what are you supposed to do? I was, uh... Took it on the theory that... Like... There's not too many bad passives. Like, Spider Baby is not a bad passive. It's just a... It's like a zero-sum game. So, I don't feel too bad about having it, but I'd rather it was something else. <laughs> I'm going to use uh, extra incubodes on here, because we still only get one more, even though we have both of them sort of for free, which is interesting. 
Well, we had two, now we have three. But you'd expect it to add one more. Uh, nothing of value in there, but there could have been a bed which would have given us way more spirit hearts and made me feel a lot more comfortable. We're going so slowly, and I see no real way of giving ourselves the time advantage back, except to get lucky and find the boss really early on a floor soon. We could keep the full card in order to continue after the boss rush. So, oh fuck. This is terrible. I, keep, I always, always dodge into these, and you've all seen it, so don't act like it's some news. I always fail to <laughs> stay in the right place when those things explode, at least once on each room that contains them. Uh, our best case scenario, I think, is to find the mom fight really quickly on that floor, get into boss rush, and then full card out. That seems like a good idea. So this is not such an art There is no advantage to doing that. This is not a question mark. It's balls of steel. I'm glad I took that pill. Okay, let's move on. Take the full card and get out of here. Ooh, you're all thinking it. I'm gonna say it. That was ballsy and very fluky, but it's okay. Please. This fly has no business existing, and yet, lo and behold, it's right up in my grill, boxing me in. Bombs is probably gonna be a great advantage to us very soon. Please, how are you not dead from that barrage? And these spiders that jump a whole floor. The entire width of the bloody room just to get to me. I appreciate how alluring I can be. But just don't. Can you not? We found a boss. We really want to find our item room. Uh, I don't want to... Boss Rush is there for the points. It's not there for the advantage that Boss Rush gives us. I.e. we're not going to do Boss Rush because we want to get the item. We want to do Boss Rush because it's a daily run and we want to get the points. Which means... First of all, we have to be confident enough to do boss rush, which, as Lilith, it's very difficult not to be because we're just going to be continually creating these incubus friends here. Um, but we don't want to get into it for the item, which means we want to... Obviously, we're going to get a little chat from this. We want to find the... Oh, we have been to the item. We haven't been here. <clears throat> we have been to the item room. That had a reroll in it. I'm going to go then. I'm pretty sure we're not going to get to boss rush, but we could get really, really lucky, so stay tuned. Uh, again, what I'm trying to say here is I'd rather spend the time to find the item rooms on these floors. I was going to say I'd like to remove these skulls from the equation as well, but it has done it for us. I'm not quite sure uh, what I'm supposed to do in order to guarantee myself a deal with the devil. You know, I've only had one and we're on the fifth floor. So, feeling a little bit like I'm being victimized by the devil here. You know, these are all really good band names. What was it I said before? Anyway, let's uh, rewind, have a look back at the footage. It's my second amazing band name of the day. I don't really think that little Chad is going to give us that great of an advantage in our current situation. Obviously, we don't have any red hearts, nor do we have dark bum, although we do start with Cambian Conception as Lilith, so we may accidentally produce a dark bum by accident. We may end up with just red hearts randomly anyway, so... There is that. Thank you for letting me skip that room twice. Presuming that I didn't actually want to do it. Where is this bad guy? Oh. He confused the shit out of me. I'm not happy with that damage. That was a full heart because that was a champion. But the positioning of it was such that I had literally no idea where it was going to be. Uh, so kudos to that for staying invisible for just long enough. And bullshit to that for managing to fire in the exact direction that meant that I couldn't get out of the way. So a club I will use, even though I could have picked up that bomb first and made it into two bombs. But once again, we've taken every single wrong direction. Oh, we've just managed to pick up little brimstone by uh, getting hit too much. <laughs> Some advantages to being as bad as I am, I suppose. Where are you? Bombs. I mean, I don't really need the bombs, but I guess they're going to be useful at some point in the future. So... Look, how are these enemies so good at boxing me in? I think what's happening here is I'm very unconfident about my DPS right now. And what that's doing is man meaning that I don't assume an enemy is going to die, and therefore I don't, you know, take advantage of the space freed up by having killed it. Uh, and often I think that seems to be the correct thing to do. Ah, I 
don't think we want to keep this, but I will take it for the guppy chance. Oh, okay, yeah. We're guppy now, so at least this is a win. It's very difficult to not win when you <laughs> become guppy. Um, let me pick the thing up. Thank you. So we're not going to make boss rush, and I think that's okay. Um, I dare say many people have done, especially people who are better at this game than me. We'll take the uh, eternal heart now. But, you know, we're getting some good advantages from the things that we are doing. Ooh, the speed upgrade is actually slightly disconcerting. And does little brimstone give me flies, I wonder? That would be nice. That would be a great time to just accidentally be in boss rush. We're on a completely the wrong floor. This is only the first necropolis floor. So, I guess we just let that one fall by the wayside and hope that we get some push. Oh, of course we can fly. So, I don't need to worry about the spikes. Uh, hush is going to be worse because hush is way harder and a lot more boring than boss rush. But at least we get one of the rushes done. Where was that? Where did that spider come from? Huh? That's our HP. We could probably sell this to the devil because we're quite likely to get a devil deal right now. Uh, okay, just take the spirit heart and we really need a lot more advantages, and I'm comfortable with admitting right now and it's because I'm not playing very well and it's not like I'm going to try and find an excuse for not playing very well except I'm just not playing very well um but I'm not comfortable with how much more difficult this has become as a result the bloat well I guess we just try and bait it into shooting us and then missing we do have the guppy flies helping us out a whole bunch Avoid these eyes, though. They can hurt. Believe it or not. And then try and just shoot it from across the map with the... Uh... Oh, hello. There we go. Oh, that would have been good. Still no deal with the devil. I mean, how many floors do you have to do before it's guaranteed? Huh? I don't like the bloat. Nobody likes the bloat. I think getting through that fight with only one HP, and that wasn't even from the bloat itself, but from one of the eyeballs, which is almost impossible to avoid all the time anyway is fine. We did not get an HP upgrade. We have not sold anything to the devil. We've already missed boss rush, so whatever. But at least not doing boss rush means that we don't spend the time in boss rush. Uh, and therefore, we can get to... Ooh, this golden key is going to be extremely useful. Uh, we can get to push that much more easily because we will be basically five minutes ahead of everybody else. I would like to think that Maybe the first deal with the devil that I missed would have had a much better upgrade for us. But we did get a guppy from the one we hit, so can't be too upset. We got some of guppy from the one we hit. Not all of it, obviously. Uh, no, we didn't, did we? What did we get? Oh, we got a second ink for this. Actually, that's a really good upgrade, so I can't be, um, can't be salty at all. I mean, we could have had death touch maybe in the one that we missed. I don't know. Why don't you go and watch the people play? Because there are others playing this. Mm -hmm. Not really useful. Let's see if we can get the money. Honey. But who cares? Let's do the curse room for basically free. Spiders, that's okay. Might as well use the full card and do it for completely free. Let's do this big room. Because there's a full charge on our thingy so that we can continue. Look, the, the guppiness of this run has basically made it almost unlosable. I want to say that, but then I realise we're actually going to Mega Satan, so it's entirely losable. I've never seen that before. Bit of a, a shitbag room, like every single other one that's been introduced since after the. Uh, so, fuck you, everybody, for all your ideas that have made my life that much more miserable. If I, if I genuinely thought that this made my life miserable, I would not be playing the game. It is a little bit more difficult. Guarantee. I will admit the difficulty has increased with these button rooms where you have to dodge around and actually have some mechanical skill in the game. Uh, yeah, I quite like Ball of Tar, actually. So now I guess we just try and press our time advantage based on the fact that we are not doing boss rush, which is a strange thing to say because if we had time advantage, we would be doing boss rush. I have found the... Just use that. I'll buy this. I don't really care for black for red candle. I think basically Fox of Friends as Lilith, especially with this many. Uh, what am I trying to say? This many offensive minions here. 
basically makes it untenable to do anything other than keep this uh, situation that we have. Ooh, this is a nice one. It's not a nice payout from that. Come on, let me out of this room. There we go. Having the golden key with uh, Guppy's tail has made this particular floor that much nicer. But unfortunately, we're not going to make boss rush. Uh, oh, I genuinely didn't see that shot. <laughs> well, I did, just as I was running into it going, that shot's a funny colour. I haven't seen it in time. I've finally got to deal with the devil. What can we sell? I think we keep the HP. Honestly, we don't need the guppy transformation. We don't need Sister Maggie ever, or Brother Bobby ever, either of them. We just keep going. We have plenty of bombs. So, uh, well, I was thinking this could have given us some advantage, but it really didn't. Well, that's not fair. We haven't looked at them yet. But, looking for light. Like, damage upgrades, great the number of crickets heads you get. Ooh, the Hierophant. Hero. The number of crickets heads you can get from. Well, it's one per run. But there's a, there's a decent chance of getting crickets head from stone chests, but also from maybe golden chests. So there's a chance that our Guppy's tail pickup could end up giving us an actual damage upgrade for the first time in the whole game. We've got a couple of um, tiers upgrades, so it's not like we're not shooting a considerable amount. I wonder if there is a tinted rock in here. Wouldn't mind having no curses, so I could see. We have to beat Mega Satan. This is what's really uh, grinding my gears right now. It's it's making me mildly nervous about our chances of competing. Is that we have to do Mega Satan, but we've had no advantages. Sort of in terms of damage, our DPS is okay. It's getting us through these rooms, but I'm still getting hit more often than I'm happy with. And I hate this because these things can sometimes pop up right in front of me and often do. They don't do it to anybody else, by the way. Just me. Oh, yeah, there you go. What I tell you? What did I tell you? Right, we'll just leave this floor. I don't really care for the exploration bonus. Seriously, though. This is bullshit. There we go. Uh, ooh. And that is also going to really help with our flies, because, of course, our flies scale with our damage. Let's use our classic gambit of making extra minions and shooting the shit out of everybody. Range upgrade is actually fine because we have taken uh, number one, which has reduced our range to some extent, and honestly, Lump of Coal with uh, range upgrade is actually really good, because now we can hang back even further from the hush, which we're definitely going to be doing, because we've got plenty of time. Secret room? No. We've got so many bombs it was worth checking, I guess. Oh, there's two of them. Ah, well... I can fly. I mean, the flies is obviously a great advantage of Guppy, but being able to just avoid having to worry about... Why am I dodging like this? Um, well, anything really. Power pill. That might be actually better than the Wheel of Fortune, which has no value to us. We're going to have to go through Shoal as well. That's the way these uh, dailies seem to work. Which is very annoying. I'm going to shoot that to keep it down. Keep it oppressed. That's how it works, right? You shoot things and they remain oppressed. So we haven't sold our HP. I'm not worried about selling our HP. It's, like, it's not like having one HP is a disadvantage to us right now. Do you know what would be ideal? If we found... Um, if we found the Horror of Babylon or... Uh, mostly the Horror of Babylon, I think, in our deal with the devil. Because we can sell our one HP for it and then be in permanent Horror of Babylon state. Which is a permanent damage upgrade. Uh... Which would only be ruined by taking HP by accident on like the dark room or something. So it's not something that would concern me, but it would be very nice to have that extra damage. Oh, so many dead ends, and they're so far apart. We could also benefit from empty vessel, but since we can already fly, I was going to say empty vessel is the other thing where if we have zero HP, it's a great advantage, but. It's kind of not, because the only thing we're going to get from that is the occasional invincibility, which admittedly could really help us on the uh, the Mega Satan fight, which we're going to have to do eventually. The moon part is nice, but it's a little too late, I guess. <clears throat> my, my throat is a little bit rough. That's why I can talk so low. But I thought I'd do... Uh, you might have to excuse me a minute, but one of my... 
One of my headphones has just gone weird. Excuse me. What is happening? No, it's back. I just got a loose connection. Then we all. So I'm a bit sore in the throat. I'm supposed to be starting a Doom series. Which will be a sort of a, a Doom off with a person on Twitter. Also on YouTube, obviously. But I'm not sure it would be a great idea for me to start that right now because I think my throat might not last that long. Second secret room. Super secret room is not there. It's not going to be over there, so. Heck with it. I used my charge before I considered that maybe I should not use my charge. The reason I don't want to use my charge is I definitely want to use it on the hush fight. So, one thing we can do here is go and fight a couple more. Ooh, it's right there. Look at that. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Horror fucking Babylon. Yeah, yeah. Uh, look. There is no possible way for me to have played this seed. I'm happy that that deal with the devil had some uh, combat in it, actually. There's no possible way I could have played this <laughs> to know that that was going to happen, right? I mean, had I played it already, I wouldn't be making all the mistakes I'm making. Okay, let's get into that hush fight with our charge back, because I used it like a noob. Bit of a misplay, but we did have enough... <laughs> done that before by accident as well. We did have enough rooms with combat left. It would have been very silly to have done that without actually... Oh, there is a battery charge anyway, so it's not a big deal. Um, it would have been very silly to, silly to have done that after doing the whole... That's a very difficult choice, but I think we take Holy Mantle because as Lilith, we get such a good advantage out of Box of Friends. Whereas... Ooh, that's interesting, though. I want both, but I can't have both. So I think you take Fruitcake and just stop firing all the fucking time. Like, the, the major danger of Fruitcake is simply that it will explode on you, right? Because as you're walking through rooms firing, you end up with a nipicat shot and it hurts. I think that's okay. We have got a power pill, which I could use. I think I'm not going to. The reason it was probably slightly easier a choice than I thought to take Holy Mantle is we don't necessarily really have a... Um, what just hit me whilst I was down there? I call bullshit. We don't have an orbital. So we don't really have anything that we can use to take advantage of the fact that we have invincibility in that regard. Or would do, had we taken it. That was a great shot. I can't actually control my character. Um, <laughs> so please bear with while I wreck this run on the hush fight. We're not as powerful as I would have liked at all, quite honestly. I mean, the Horror of Babylon is helping, of course. So is the guppy thing. And Fruitcake is producing a decent amount of effects that are affecting said hush here, but I'm so fast that I'm having trouble keeping tabs on my position and therefore not walking into the shots that I've already dodged, which is my curse. You know, it's mine to deal with. If this spider could get involved, that would be sweet. Am I safe? I think I'm safe. The flies are hitting because I have managed to position. Sorry. I've managed to position myself correctly for once. Um, and I have an incubus that is actually hitting the hush. Which has put me in an unenviable position of producing flies without actually having to aim. There's plenty of money, which is going to give us a good. Uh, a good point spending bonus, of all things. Oh, shit. We're okay here. We're okay here. Just keep it on the level. I can't see the enemy, which is the worst thing right now. Take this. I don't know how to control this section of the hush, which does make me wonder quite how I managed to, uh, in any respect, beat this as the loss, but apparently I did. So there's that. Well, I think the trick to beating this as a loss is to have a shitload of DPS and a good amount of, like, IRL luck so that you don't get hit by all this. That was actually a really good end of that fight, and I'm quite happy with myself for having done so. We'll take all this money for no fucking reason, and then we'll go up. We are actually going up to the cathedral, which puts me to shame because I said that we were going to go down to Shoal. Which, you know, it's not an unreasonable thing to have said because most of the time when you have to go and beat Mega Satan, 
it sends you down from the shoal instead of up through the cathedral. Maybe they patched it. Maybe that was just variance. Who knows? So we did really well on that. There's no reason to do that because we're going as far as we can anyway. It would not give us an advantage to fight the lamb. We can't fight the lamb. But we can try and maybe explore a little bit more uh, on chess. Because the Holy Mantle, of course, allows us to forget that we're not supposed to be exploding ourselves. Ooh, hello. Once per room. Fine with me. We have Bob's Rotten Head, which probably gives us no advantage. But there's a Spirit Heart here, which I nearly didn't see. It's a bit difficult, because you really want to go into a room with a incubus, uh, a, a little brimstone charge. You don't want to be holding down the fire button when you walk through a door, because it's going to explode and hit you in the face. So I guess if you haven't actually taken a hit on the room yet, you're okay because you have Holy Mantle, but if you have, you have to go into the next room without a little brimstone charge or risk taking damage anyway. And of course, the point of having a little brimstone charge is you don't take damage from whatever's in there. We uh, set the eyes of fight, we go for it. I think we've got a sufficiently decent advantage now that we can feel fairly confident about the Mega Satan fight. I'm not that confident, there's a lot of it, and you don't know it's HP. So, there's a certain amount of. Let's just go. There's a certain amount of. Uh, I'm not sure, but we can still explore the chest, try and get some decent items. Hopefully, not Curse of the Unknown, or Curse of the Blind, rather. Uh, yeah, I think the mulligan is fine. I don't know if it actually... Hmm. This is interesting. I want them both, but it does ruin Horror Babylon, so I don't know whether it actually makes up for it or not. I don't want this to be. Let's see how we get on. We're at least a little bit slower, which makes, I, makes me able to control my character. To get me now is very interesting. We could do that. I don't know what it will do. I don't know whether we can win, basically, because if we don't have... Um, yeah, I'll take you. If we don't have the key on the next floor, can we actually fight Mega Satan at all? And if we can't fight Mega Satan, can we beat the daily run? I mean, we'll probably get a great advantage from uh, playing the floor again. So I'm happy to do it, but I'm going to do it. It's going to be great. But I want to do the whole floor again, not just this little bit of it see how many items we can stack up so we can get some cool synergies. Uh, careful. Holy Mantle, of course, saving us once again. I think we're really strong. And I'm, uh, that's encouraging. But, I'd like to see what happens if, if, if we can't get into the Mega Saint fight on the next floor. I'm hoping that all it does is, ooh, with all this money, we definitely take that. I'm hoping that it produces uh, a blue baby fight, which would be nice. We did get hit there. It's kind of inheritable because we didn't have a charge. I would have liked to use a charge. Oh, we'll go all in then. Get um, full HP and three red hearts. I mean, there's a small chance we get a Joker card and sell all our HP back to the boss again. Uh, back to Satan again. This is Satan, right? I mean, deal with the devil implies Satan devil. I don't know. I do like tech point five. Uh, it doesn't do anything when you're Lilith, so buggery. Why not? Why not take Charm of the Vampire 2? Um, right now, basically, I'm doing all my rooms because there's such a great chance of them sh paying out with a chest. I'm not quite sure why I was flashing just now like I got hit. Let's so, talk about this because of how, in fact, I didn't get hit because there's nothing to hit me. Do like this. What is that one doing? We are roasting these rooms. I have nothing to fear. Not even fear itself. I have conquered fear. I have walked through the shadow, walked through the valley in the shadow of death. And I fear no evil. Not even fear itself. Not even the fear of evil itself do I fear. Well, I got hit on the way into this room, which is a little bit upsetting. The haunt will last zero time. Of course, we don't have to worry about creep, which I was doing until fairly recently. Ooh. You, sir, are a bugger. We have a power pill as well, so if we do feel like we're in somewhat dire straits, we will uh, 
be able to pop that. Man. Our DPS is really, really good. And I'm only looking out for more right now. I feel like we can get some really interesting things done before this run is over. And of course, we have that forget me now. I'm not really using uh, our box of friends. Which means I'm okay with leaving it behind, basically. Which we have to do in order to take the forget me now. But I'm gonna. We're gonna use it. We're gonna see what happens on the next floor, which may mean we can never actually end <laughs> this run. Okay, it does give us back our charge. I'm not gonna take Mom's knife. It's a terrible idea with Incubus. I'm not sure if technology is, but it looks like it is not, given that we now have infinite range spectral tears, uh, piercing shots, and the rate of fire is ludicrous. Yeah, I think we may have taken the small damage downgrade from doing the DPS downgrade, but... Oh, do I get the metal transformation? Uh, I think it's worth it. Because we keep getting awesome damage upgrades anyway. Now looking for a spacebar item. And of course, don't forget we have Guppy, so all of our damage is multiplied up by all these things. And we still have Fate's Reward to ruin our day by firing a tear every now and then exploding our face. Yeah, this is much easier at least. I don't know whether you'd say that it was better. But technology is something that you can really... You, you have the luxury to decide if you want it at the end of the game. You can have the luxury at the start of the game. It's not like it's Tech 2. Sure. Take the Zodiac items for the Zodiac transformation. Which isn't a thing. Neither does the metal transformation. Although, you know, write these down after the bus is on its way. What did we get? We got... Yeah, that's a space rhyme. Uh, I guess we're only going to use it once on this whole floor, but okay. There's uh, two metal thingies. There's the gold bar and the iron bar. Iron bar. But also, I kind of counted... Uh, money plus power in there. That's a sort of a money base. It's metal based, right? Money is metal. Are the three money based items? Just the dollar. Honestly, we don't really get the opportunity to use Shoot the Woot. We have so many bombs that Mega Stan is not really going to last that long anyway. I'm thinking of the waves in between when Mega Satan puts himself away. Hides out like a coward. We've got plenty of advantages against that too. HP up, pushy feel protected. We've got all the Zodiac items. The Zodiac transformation is pretty cool. I don't think we've got all of them. I wonder if we can get all of them. I don't really want that. Oh, we might as well use it once. Let me get this HP out of the way and sorted. There we go. Red HP is actually going to be helpful because if we do have trouble in the Mega Satan fight, then we've got both... Gimpy and Little Chad. I don't think Little Chad will help actually, but Gimpy will be paying out from uh, the demise of enemies. Which there will be some of in order to pay us back. In terms of hearts. And there are spirit hearts we don't need. No deal with the devil, which is the only reason I was opening that chest, because we don't need spirit hearts. We don't need guppy items. But it could have teleported just to deal with the devil, where we sold all our HP for like brimstone, the mark, the pact or something. Well, we do have Judas's tongue, so we'd have to get four items. Probably don't want to keep hold of that, really. There's no way we can now sell our deal with the devil. Our HP to the deal with the devil without dropping Judas's tongue, but who cares, right? No, don't want that. We can't even use it for. Ooh, that's not true. We temporarily want that, and I'll show you why. We do this. Do this, 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 this. Aha! Horror of Babylon. And we avoid taking any more HP. Right, let's go back and beat the crap out of Satan. Mega Satan, of course. I think that was fun worth doing. What do you think? Did I accidentally just use... Uh... No, it was Lil Primson. I thought I accidentally used Super Whip. I did not. I intentionally used it just now. I thought I'd accidentally used it. Um, I think it was worth doing a second chest. We've got a lot of cool items. And the fact that we didn't have a curse on either of them meant that we could actually pick and choose which items we took rather than you know, being completely ruined by, by, I don't know, soy milk or something. Soy milk technology would have been terrible. Ah, not as bad as soy milk brimstone, though. We've lost our holy mantle. 
because one of those enemies just spawned on top of me. Makes me a sad panda. Don't forget we have the little brimstone, we should be using that. We can't duplicate our incantodes, but... Wait, why have we only got one? We may have two on top of each other right here, I'm not quite sure. Let's deal with this joke. I saw that one coming. Of course, we can do this. Yeah, there we go. I don't think we're safe on this phase from doing this, but it's still pretty cheesy. We have a power pill as well, let's use that. Is it working? Is it working? How are you doing? Taking damage? I might have been. <laughs> yeah, he took some damage. That was great. I really enjoyed the way that run ended, even if we didn't do too well, which we may or may not have done. Let's see. 89th. That's actually really good. I'm very much a fan of that. And probably because we explored two chests fully. Well, thank you for watching. I really enjoyed that run. Even though we didn't do boss rush, we got hush done. And that was actually really easy. Uh, <laughs> feeling pretty good about that. I might go and do some Isaac episodes. But uh, I'll wait for my throat to get a little bit better first. Because then I won't be able to talk like this. Which makes me sad. My normal voice is very high pitch. As you all know. I'm very embarrassed. It's a point of much contention in my life. Oh well. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.